Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin, and today we're taking a quick look at the Mate X. I am here in Shenzhen, China, where I got to spend some time with the device, and I've actually spent some time with the device before, but now I've actually gotten to take some real pictures and some real video of it, and um, so I'm actually kind of familiar with it now. So this is Huawei's first try at a foldable device, and uh, they announced it at Mobile World Congress. It's... um. You know, it's it's coming along. I, none of these things have been released yet, so Huawei's doing as good as anybody. There have been any major issues, like some other OEMs. Um, so this one, the display actually is on the outside of the device compared to the Samsung's, which is the foldable display is on the inside. And um, so what is it like to fold it, right? So there's a little bit of resistance there. Um, it feels pretty comfortable. There is a button on the side of the device that you have to press to release it, to unfold it, and that's kind of how it works. So you can see that there's there's kind of a spine. It's almost like a Kindle Oasis, where when you hold it, when it's flat, there's, there's actually a grip that you can hang on to. And um, that's also where the cameras are located, and there are three cameras. They're actually the same cameras as the, or similar cam cameras at least, to the P30 Pro, which uh, it has the RYYB sensors, which use is yellow instead of green. Um, also, Huawei has refreshed the internals since obviously they didn't release it quite as soon as they had hoped. So rather than a Kirin 980, which was originally planned, and again, it, it, at the time it wasn't expected to have the same um, internal uh, or the same cameras as, as a P30. So uh, rather than a 980, it's going to have the 990, which actually kind of isn't announced yet, but but obviously 990 is what comes after the 980. So the 990 is what you'll see in Huawei's flagship phones uh, later this year. So you can see kind of uh, in some of the videos that there's the animation of when you switch from from uh, um, f uh, unfolded to folded, and obviously when you switch from folded to unfolded, and it's all pretty seamless. And I, I actually I like this device a lot. Um, other than other than the foldable part and the, and the way that this animation just kind of works, where it just switches the full screen like that, it's pretty much just a Huawei device, right? It has EMUI. It's going to have brilliant cameras that like the you know, the un, unreasonable low-light performance of, of the P30 and so, or the P30 Pro. They weren't specific about that. They just, it's it's more like a Gen 2 model, which has the upgraded internals, the upgraded camera, and um, so we just have some things that, that are different than when they first announced it at Mobile World Congress. And um, so, yeah, it's it's been delayed a little bit, but it, it's, um, it's coming along. It's a really cool device. And uh, there, there is a little bit of a crease on the display when it's unfolded. There's, there isn't much of a way to get around that, although Lenovo kind of did with its foldable PC. So um, yeah, this thing should be out. Hopefully, still, it, it's still planning on later this year. Although Huawei's still not saying any more than soon, which is the same time frame that it had at Mobile World. Congress. So um, that's it, guys. And uh, hopefully we'll be we'll be talking more about this soon. And hopefully we'll get a review when we are. So stay tuned for that. I'm Rich from NeoWin. Have a great night.